So in today's video, I am going to do something that I haven't done before on YouTube, and that is doing a haul video with all the Blu-rays and DVDs that I've purchased in the last month and kind of talking about, you know, where I got them from and what I paid and things like that. So stay tuned. Uh, so I've got this divided into two kind of columns here. They're all kind of stacked up. Um, one is DVDs and then one is uh, Blu-rays. So we'll kind of go through the DVDs first and then go through the Blu-rays. So uh, this is the first time I'm doing a content uh, haul, you know, kind of video. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, starting off here whoop, is going to be uh, this Justice League Doom DVD. Uh, I've never seen this. This is one of the animated uh, DC movies. Um, I ended up picking this up from a good goodwill nearby for I think it was like a dollar or two dollars so I'm interested to kind of watch this I've never really watched a lot of the animated DC uh universe stuff outside of you know way back in the day like Mask of the Phantasm and stuff but uh, I'm interested to see this so I picked this up next uh the same trip when I picked that up I from the goodwill also got this, uh, this is Superman Returns, which is, uh, the, is it Timothy Roth, uh, who plays Superman, and, um, all that is from the early to mid-2000s, like 2005 or something, I think. Um, I haven't seen this movie since it originally came out all those years ago, uh, but I, I thought this edition was cool. It's the two-disc edition with, uh, all the bonus content and all that stuff, so... Again, got this for like $2 uh, on that Goodwill trip um, that I got the other one. And it's got the cool slip cover on here as well. And then some of these are going to be kind of hard to see. So this one here, um, this one is the Skeleton Key. Uh, this is a horror movie back from, again, I think like the mid-2000s. Uh, this one and a couple others that are in my stack, I picked up from uh, the Goodwill bins. Uh, we went to one of the Goodwill bin outlet stores, and they had a couple uh, bins, basically, of uh, media, you know, VHS tapes and CDs and DVDs, all just kind of thrown in there, whatever. And so I found a couple of them, and so I found this one there. And the way it works for the bins, at least in this area, I know different areas do different things, everything is kind of grouped by the pound, uh, unless it's specific items. So... These were probably like 10 cents or something <laughs> uh, when you break everything down for what I bought that day. So um, pretty cheap. I've never seen this movie. Um, definitely interested to see it and watch it. Uh, then from that same trip, we've got No Mercy. Um, another movie I haven't seen. I know this has Richard Gere and uh, Kim Basinger in it. Um, looks kind of interesting. Uh, but again, never seen this, kind of interested to watch it. And again, it was from when we went to the bins. So this was again like 10 cents or whatever uh, when we bought these. And then next on the DVD list, also from that same trip, is the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory uh, movie with Johnny Depp back from the mid-2000s, the Tim Burton one. Uh, I've never seen this one. I've seen the original Willy Wonka, that's a classic. Um, and I recently saw Wonka with uh, Timothy Chalamet in it, and that is kind of what prompted me uh, to buy this, is because my wife had asked if I had ever seen this, and I said no, and we had just seen the Wonka movie. And so when we were at the uh, Goodwill bins, this was in one of the bins there, so again, got it for like 10 cents, so I'm interested to watch this. I've never actually watched it, so we'll see how that goes. Again, also from those bins, this is, what is this one? Original Sin with Antonio Banderas and, uh, oh, who is that? I'm drawing a blank now. Angelina Jolie, duh. Uh, another movie, I've never seen this. Um, got it from the bins. 
Uh, as you can tell, maybe you can see on there, it's got someone's name written on the cover. Uh, paid like, again, 10 cents or whatever it is for it. So I'm kind of interested to watch this. You know, it's kind of like a erotic thriller or something. So we'll, we'll definitely see how that goes. All right. And then this we got, this leads into a couple movies that I recently got from the local thrift store here in my town. Uh, Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Never seen it. Listened to a bunch of the songs uh, from this, um, but never actually seen the movie. So um, the thrift store that we have here in town, all the DVDs are a dollar. So I paid a dollar for this. So I'm interested to see it because I've never actually watched this. Uh, and then, again, from our local thrift store, a movie I've never seen back from, I think this is from the 80s or early 90s, Hail Caesar, with uh, Anthony Michael Hall and Robert Downey Jr. Uh, I don't know, I haven't done a lot of research, I don't know if this is kind of a hard-to-find, out-of-print DVD or not, uh, but again, paid a dollar for this at our local thrift store here in town, so I'm definitely interested to watch this. This looks kind of like, you know, something that you would see kind of in the vein of like a weird science or something like that, you know, 80s kind of teen movie. So definitely interested to watch this one. All right, this one, <laughs> uh, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee. I got this, you might be able to see the sticker up here, from Slackers, which is um, in this area, the closest thing you have to like a, media resale shop uh, that sells video games and different things. I got this for $1.99. They have their normal media prices, Blu-rays, DVDs, whatever. Uh, and then they always have a clearance bin uh, in their store. And this was in the clearance bin for $1.99. I think this was either a made-for-TV movie. Well, made for cable TV. It's an HBO production. Uh, so, like, a made-for-TV movie or direct-to-DVD release, I don't know. But it's about, like, uh, the American West and Native Americans and things. And I just thought it looked interesting, and I liked the case, you know, and everything on here. So, uh, kind of interesting, you know, uh, and interested to watch this uh, with my wife, because I've never seen this. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, now, these next handful, I actually just got quite recently... We went to a uh, flea market. Um, it's the first flea market that they've held in our small town in a number of years. Uh, and, of course, the day we went, it was like 30 degrees outside and windy and raining. So it wasn't very uh, nice weather to be there. But this next handful of movies I got that day, uh, they all come from, came from the same vendor. They were a dollar apiece. This is the I Know What You Did Last Summer uh, trilogy on DVD. Um I can't remember if I've seen... I know I haven't seen the sequels. I may have seen the original one of these way back in the day. I can't remember. Uh, but I do have on my media rack back here the original one that I found on DVD. But I'm going to get rid of that and sell it and now keep the uh, trilogy pack. So this will definitely be something interesting to watch down the road. Uh, you know, because slasher movies are always fun to watch from time to time. So we got that one. Uh, now we got another one that I'm really interested in watching, because I've never seen this. Uh, this is Piranha from Joe Dante and uh, Roger Corman. Uh, this is a Shout Factory release. Um, again, I don't know if this is hard to come by or not, but it's just cool B, C-level horror movie from back in the day. And I like all the art and everything that's on here because it's reversible. Um, if I take the disc out, it's got reversible art and uh, this cool little pamphlet and a bunch of special features and stuff. So uh, definitely interested in watching this one. Uh, also got that one for a dollar from the same vendor. Then I also found this. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation from that same vendor for a dollar. Never seen this. I've seen the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I've seen the remake from like 2004 or 5 or whatever it was uh, that I own uh, here in my collection. 
but I've never seen this one or any of the kind of the sequels off based off the original. So definitely interested to watch this. And again, got this for a dollar. I know some of these DVDs may not be the greatest quality in terms of transfer. Uh, and then I know some of them are kind of uh, hard to come by out of print DVDs. So uh, definitely something I'm interested to watch and, uh, you know, see how it pans out. Uh, along the same vein, I found this is there as well. This is Hellway Hellraiser 3. I've seen the original Hellraiser. I have that as a special edition DVD in my collection. But I've never seen any of the sequels. And I know they get kind of uh, not the greatest quality, let's say, as you start getting into the later sequels. But um, this one I've never seen. Again, found this. I've never really seen this DVD out anywhere uh, other than this flea market we were at. So uh, definitely interested to, to pick this one up and watch it. And again, this is a dollar, same as those other ones uh, from the same vendor. Uh, this one as well I got from that same vendor at that flea market. This is a four-pack of horror movies, which includes The Blob, Carrie, Fright Night, and The Seventh Sign. Um, or not Carrie, Christine, I'm sorry. Uh, the Blob, I've never seen. I think I've seen the original one. This is the remake. I've never watched that one. Christine, I actually have on Blu-ray in a Steelbook special edition here. Um, I've seen the original Fright Night, but it's been a long time, and I don't have that uh, on any form of media. And I've never actually seen The Seventh Son, or Seventh Sign, I'm sorry. Uh, it's got Demi Moore in it. Um, I'm sure it's in the same vein as all these movies. That's why it's bundled together. So definitely an interesting thing to pick up uh, for a dollar at the uh, flea market. Then I picked up this. Psycho 2, 3, and 4. Um, I've never seen any of these sequels. Um, I do have Psycho 2 as a standalone DVD in my collection. I'm going to be selling that as well, since I have this. Uh, definitely interested to watch these, um, because I've never seen them. And uh, again, picked this up for a dollar at the flea market. Again, from that same vendor, this is Crocodile 2. <laughs> uh, what is this? Death, Death Swamp. Uh, I'm assuming this is a very low-budget movie. I don't know if it's going to be the greatest thing in the world to watch. But uh, again, for a dollar, I've never seen this. And definitely interesting to pick up and watch just as like a probably a cheesy, horribly acted uh, horror movie. So definitely interested in that. Uh, again, and this I believe is the last one that I got from that vendor. This is Leatherface uh, Texas Chainsaw 3. Again, never seen this one. Uh, same as the other one, never seen it. So definitely uh, interested in, in watching this. And this is another one that I've never really seen out in the wild anywhere else. So I don't know if this is really hard to come by or not or out of print. But uh, definitely looking to watch this and the other one. Uh, now we're going to get into uh, this movie. This is uh, the Doll Man slash Demonic Toys box set uh, movie. I actually got this along with a few others that I'll get to in a minute here from one of the only items that I ever buy new might be media like this. If it's the right price, this one and a few others I'll get to, I bought new from dollar general, at least here in my little market area, all the dollar generals were running a 50% off, uh, new release movies. As long as they weren't, I think Sony, um, so all the other like random boutique and kind of lower quality or second hand previously viewed rentals that they have in there, everything was half off. So I ended up only paying $2 or $3 for this because it was half off. I have no clue really what this is. I've never watched this movie or any of these movies, um, but I'm definitely interested in seeing this and for, like I said, like 2 or $3 that I paid, definitely worth it. And then this starts my Blu-ray section, um, and I've put some of these in my slim cases already. We'll start with this one. This is uh, Resistance 2054, the Daniel Craig movie. It's animated. Uh, I previously had this on DVD, um, so I just wanted to upgrade to the Blu-ray when I found it. Uh, found this at a local thrift store, um, I think a Goodwill or Salvation Army, and only paid, I think, $2.00. For it. So definitely uh, interested to put this in the collection and move on from the DVD. 
Also found this uh, from our local thrift store, the original Planet of the Apes on Blu-ray. Um, I know they have box sets out of various descriptions for these, uh, but again, I found this for $2 at a local uh, Goodwill thrift store. Um, I know this may not be the greatest quality transfer. I know there's been others that are better than this, uh, but this is a classic and uh, definitely something I'm wanting to watch. I've watched this way, way, way back, I think, on TV with my dad back in the day. So I'm definitely interested to watch this uh, here in the home theater. Uh, then this, 12 Monkeys. Um, another uh, really good movie that I really enjoy. And um, I have this uh, on DVD, so I'm definitely going to move on from the DVD and, and watch this. I know this transfer isn't the greatest. I know I think it's Arrow or Shout Factory, did a re-release of 12 Monkeys with a new scan and everything. That would be probably even nicer to have. But again, I found this at a thrift store for a dollar or two, so definitely worth, worth keeping, and I'm going to get rid of the DVD quality version and keep this. And then last of the snapper cases that I have here, uh, The Day After Tomorrow. Um, I saw this movie back uh, when it was in the movie theater, um, way back in the day. Haven't really seen it since then, maybe once or twice on TV, but again, I got this at one of the local Goodwill thrift stores, um, paid like $2 for it, so definitely worth having and adding to the collection, you know, of just kind of cheesy disaster movies. Uh, and now we're back to some of the movies I got at Dollar General when they were having their 50% off. So I found this. This is the Jaws uh, 3 sequel set. I have the original Jaws, um, the 75th anniversary, um, like, Universal collection they did of some of their greatest catalog titles from years ago. I have that on Blu-ray. I've never actually watched any of these sequels. I know some of them are pretty bad, or kind of considered cult classics. Uh, not the greatest, you know, quality. Uh, but I've never watched any of these sequels, so I'm definitely interested to watch it. And again, this was like 5 or $6 full price half price on it, so I only paid like two fifty or $3. So, couldn't go wrong with this. Uh, and then this is the Woodstock movie that has, it's the director's cut, which a bunch of other random footage in here. Um, supposedly this is a three-disc set with nine hours of, like, footage on it. Um, again, this is just something neat. I've never really seen this out anywhere. And I enjoy, like, old classic rock and, you know, music from the time. Uh, my wife enjoys that, too, and her family is real big into this kind of genre of music. So this is definitely something interesting to have in the home theater that may get watched as a family thing with my wife's family. Um, again, only paid, like, 2 or $3 for this because this was half price at Dollar General. Uh, also got this at Dollar General, uh, Lights Out. Um, again, paid, like, $2 for it. I've never actually seen this, but I know this is from James Wan, who did the Conjuring movies, which are some of the only horror movies that my wife actually likes. So uh, definitely interested to watch this, uh, and I'm sure she'll watch this with me because it's James Wan, and uh, he has a good reputation with her. So definitely interested to watch it. I've never seen it, and uh, again, only paid like 2 or $3 for it. And then this is the last of the movies I got from Dollar General. Uh... Salem's Lot, uh, again, a classic. I have not seen this in forever. I remember watching this when I was little on TV and um, being really scared of the vampire in it, uh, but I don't know much else about it um, from what I remember. So definitely interested to watch it. And again, I got this at uh, Dollar General when they were doing their half-off sale. So I only paid, again, like 2 or $3 for it. Uh, now this I got, this is Dragon, um, the Bruce Lee story. I've never seen it, but I've heard a lot of good things about it in different forums and different videos here on YouTube. So I'm, I'm definitely interested to watch this. I don't know if I'll keep it in the collection or sell it once I'm done. Uh, but again, I got this from the Salvation Army. I can tell by the little sticker that's on here. Um, got this for like $2 and, uh, Considering the color that's on here, this may have been a color of the week item, I don't know. So I may have got it for half that. Um, I've had it for a while sitting here before I made this video. But again, I didn't pay more than $2 for this. So definitely worth a watch, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. Uh, 
The Full Monty, <laughs> again, another one I haven't seen in forever, but I used to, sounds weird, but when I was younger, I watched the VHS of this quite a bit, mainly because I was interested in the music <laughs> in it. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to the actual content of the movie and the fact that it's about a bunch of male strippers, but uh, <laughs> the music I really enjoyed, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to watch this again and, you know, uh, getting it on Blu-ray for a couple dollars, you know, you can't really beat that. Uh, and then this I found as well as a, at a Goodwill. This is uh, Cowboys and Aliens, um, director's cut. I remember watching this when it first came out, and I don't have a whole lot of memories outside of it being um, Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford and John Favreau directing it. Um, but definitely interested to watch this again, and I don't think I've watched the director's cut. So again, got it for a couple bucks. I may keep it in the collection. I may end up selling it when I'm done. I don't know. Uh, now we're getting over, these are all steelbooks that I found. Um, these first two I actually got from Slackers. I've just peeled the stickers off. Um, this is My Bloody Valentine, the original 80s uh, version. I actually just recently watched this and never knew how good of a movie this really is, considering it's such a low-budget horror movie. And I did watch this as both the director's cut and the... Uh, original theatrical cut on here. I watched the director's cut. Really good and actually really surprised me with the level of color and everything of this transfer. This is Shout Factory. Um, on my Knoll projector, it was actually really, really uh, high quality and really like took me aback with the level of color and stuff that was in here. So definitely a cool movie and I paid $10 for this at uh, the Slackers that I went to. Um, and for the steel book, you know, that can't be beaten. Definitely is going to stay in the collection. Uh, that same time, I also found this. I'm guessing the same person probably traded these in. Uh, this is Night of the Demons, uh, steel book from Shout Factory. Um, never actually seen this movie. Um, definitely eager to watch it. Uh, if the transfer and stuff, anything as good as My Bloody Valentine, I'll be extremely impressed with it. Uh, but again, this was $10 and... I'm assuming probably the same person traded these in, uh, but got both these steel books for 20 bucks at Slackers and definitely worth keeping in my collection. Then I found this at uh, the Salvation Army. This is the original John Wick steel book. Um, I've seen this before. Um, it's kind of a modern cult classic, you know, and definitely uh, this one in particular has a bunch of like reference level um, audio video quality stuff that a lot of people in home theater, you know, use as reference material. Um, I had the original Blu-ray for a while, uh, traded that in and got rid of it. So definitely glad to have this back in the collection in the steelbook. Uh, and then this is Divergent. Um, I actually got this from Walmart in their $5 bin. Uh, I've never seen this, but my wife had talked about being interested in watching these. So, uh, got the steel book and, uh, we'll probably get around to watching it. I don't know if I'll keep this or if I'll end up selling or trading that in once I'm done watching it. Uh, and then the last one is, uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, Game of Shadows. Uh, I remember renting this from like Redbox when it first came out or maybe Family Video might've still been around here before they went out of business. Uh, haven't seen this since then. I may pop it in for a watch. Again, don't know if I'm going to keep this or end up selling it. Um, this was another $5 bin at Walmart uh, purchase and one of the few items I'll buy new, you know, every once in a while. Uh, so anyways, hopefully this video isn't too long, but that's everything I've basically purchased uh, for the last month. So basically like the month, yeah, more like two months maybe, like February and March, uh, essentially. So um, hopefully you enjoyed, you know, this kind of video and maybe I'll do some more of these every month or every couple months of just different things I've bought and sold. So, uh, as I say in all my videos, I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate, um, all the people who viewed my, my videos, you know, my subscribers and people who've left comments. I really do appreciate it. So, um, again, be on the lookout. I've got more content in the works videos. I'm going to try and get out here on the channel. So, uh, again, thanks for the support, and I'll see you in the next video.